to the highlight. Come and get your mind right. Find a tone of beat, but like right is what I go for. What's good, YouTube? We back with another video with the highlight with your boy Light Right. And I'm here with Sat Life again, man. Since the other video done disappeared, we're gonna do a new one. Man, you good though? You been good? good bro. You know my boy just came back from a cruise, so I had to get him back on the channel, you feel me? You know what it is. Shit. Tell them a little bit about Sat Life, man. Sat Life, man. I started it back in 2021. Like, the originality of it is I thought about it in 2020. I graduated in 2020 in Tallahassee. And it was during COVID. Like, when we was quarantined, everything was quarantined, everything was closed. So, like, I just found a passion for making clothes. And then, like, one day I was smoking, got hot. Uh, clothing brand name, uh, and from there it's history, man. Oh, so that's so you just looked at your old sack and was like, sat like, right? I was like, damn. I was thinking, I was like, yeah, this, this the name. I was like, this the name, man. It's a lot of people. I, I like that name. Man. At first it was like, but then I started to know like the meaning of it and the meaning I want behind it and the name for it, mm -hmm. and now it all makes sense. So like, when you first got into it, like, how did you first like start promoting yourself and get your name out there as like a clothing brand now really instagram social media mm -hmm. so facebook snapchat tiktok really mm -hmm. tiktok i post it on everything like that's how you find a lot of your customers and stuff oh. all over the world like at first i started off as not really seeing everything and just worried about customers in daytona like now I'm yeah shipping things off to places like oklahoma and washington yeah. and nevada yeah y'all get that one boy man yeah, and that's how it was when I first started the YouTube, man, because I put the 386 down. I was like, I'm going to focus on getting Daytona people first. Right. But then you just got to branch off sometimes. You be like, man, they, Daytona is only so big. You got to so you gotta open up sometimes. There's so many people out there. There's so many strangers out there that's ready to network, get ready to buy stuff. Like, from support. Speaking of network, I see that you got one sponsor athlete now in college, and now you about to get another one. Yeah, I got another one on the way. LeRon Davis, he's a defense end at Charleston Southern University. Mm -hmm. I just signed him to be a sponsor athlete for my clothing brand. So, like, he'll be wearing a lot of stuff pre-game, after game. So, y'all will see a lot of, you know, now I'm looking for NCAA women's players. So, maybe one of you might be out there. I mean, y'all never know who gets sponsored by my boy Sat. Like, unless your college be tripping, like, you can't wear no other shit. You know, we ain't trying to get nobody in trouble. Right. We just trying to, we just trying to get people that can wear it. In school, we like to. Now I see that you just graduated from Daytona State. What'd you go to college for? I graduated from Daytona State with my AA in psychology. And okay. I'm transferring to FAMU in the fall and I'm changing my major to graphic design. Okay, so more of what you're doing right now. Yeah. I got you. Really could be the reason why I make a million more dollars. Like, yeah. I have a lot of information and stuff. But I say, learn something that you never knew that you could do that was so simple. It's still hard, like it's oh, still yeah. a, lot of, a lot of work behind what you do, like whether that be YouTube or anything, like, yeah. everything's hard. Now speaking about hard, like I know you already had late nights making shirts type shit, like, right. like what's the biggest order and like what's the latest latest time you had to stay up to make sure your shit was straight? The biggest order is recently I just had a I just had an order from my customs page and it was, I had to do 23 graduation shirts mm, the night shit. before they were due. <laughs> but I got it done, though, you know, because I'm about my money. Hey, that's that's it, it stressed me out and it took me Ooh, all that's night. That's dedication, to boy. But I got it done, though, and I got paid how I was supposed to. Shit, 23 shirts in one night? That, that's that's crazy. 23 in one night. Right. So when did you when did you start from being like a, a little small Daytona person selling shirts to like, Selling shit in Oklahoma and about and shit like that. Probably like more of March 2022 was when I got my like first big sale for real. Like that's when I dropped my graphic designs and like the type of shorts that I had. And that just, I mean, those outfits right there, both of those sold out in two days. Like mm, two days sell out. Right? Two days sell out. And I had over 50 outfits. Like that's what really got it to start getting bigger. And, and now I'm currently working on my website. To get so oh, right right stay tuned for the west side. Yeah, yeah that's gonna be some heat on there. So now what you gonna be dropping on the west side, like where they could all get your shit from the west side? Yeah. So like I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like redrops and all too. Like mm -hmm. so like I got like a custom a couple of shirts that customers like, like that some customers didn't get. So I'm gonna do a redrop of 
and I'm hoping to have my website up at the end of this month or the beginning of tomorrow. So I'll do that redraw in like the middle of tomorrow. You know what the uh like the website's gonna be called? Yeah, uh, satlikeapparel.com. I already got the website. Figure that. I just gotta put yeah. everything into situated and now and like the time and how oh. I want it. So now that you got a website, you got like a bigger inventory, you got a bigger stock, so like you don't sell out as often? Yeah, I mean, yeah, so now I'm going to have to start buying more, like, yeah. so, like my first couple of drops, like I'll order like two sets of shirts, like three sets of shirts. Now I got to get to the point where I have to order like five or six, you feel me, and have a variety. So, but it costs money to make money, but it's hey. staying. And that's what we was talking about on the way here, man. Some people don't understand that you got to spend money to make money, man. And oh, yeah, you got to be able to go out there and get it. Like, yeah. Like my first month or two, I was like, dang, because I was expecting to sell out in like a day or two, like yeah. quick. And it was like, it was taking longer. Like I was selling out in like a month or three weeks, like just not like trying to rush the process. And one thing I learned over time is not to rush the process. Because now I'm selling out in like a day or two. Like now when I drop, you have to text me like quick because I'm getting sales. Yeah, you got to get it quick. No, it ain't like it was when you first right. started like first one month, two now, months. Now yeah. I know a lot of stuff that I didn't know when I first started. So I'm going to make it better. More quality, better quality. Now when you first started, like what obstacles did you have to overcome to like... Was there any obstacles where you had to be like, I might stop this. This ain't what I really want to do. Really? Yeah. Like consistency like you just gotta be consistent like i was like dang like, i was on the spree where it was like i didn't drop anything for like two or three months like i was just really wasn't trying to spend the money to do it and yeah. i was just getting lazy but then i was like man then that's when i came with the next drop and i came with a couple of next drops in march that's when i dropped that drop it started paying off and like now i really started seeing like oh yeah i gotta be serious yeah that's now every mean. time i see someone they stay on me like we drop we drop mm -hmm. i need something like so you feel me i just keep me to stay motivated like i was now, gonna say oh my bad go ahead now you, you just gotta have discipline like discipline and consistency because there's gonna be times when you don't feel like doing it like i'm not gonna lie the night that i did 23 shirts i didn't feel like doing it but you gotta be disciplined you know like just at, it, at the end of the day, like he say, you know, have money on the mind. So like, the if mind. you want to do it and you want to get to the next level, sometimes you got to pay that extra price. Sometimes you got to stay up them extra late nights and you got to do what you got to do. You got to do it. No, Cause shit. now I know that we do those 23 <clears throat> shirts for the, the, that certain customer that she will probably always come back and shop me again. Mm -hmm. Cause she saw what I can do. So you said at, when you was about to give up, and then you sold out shirts, that's when you was really like, I need to start taking this shit for real. Yeah, because then like more people started. I mean, a lot of people still just say, oh, I'm going to shop with you or I'm going to do that like when they see you in person. Because yeah. that's just how people are. But some people actually like, they'll be like, hey, man, you stay on top of what you're doing. And, like, really, because it's raw, like, you can really be big. Mm -hmm. And then it just took me that. Like, now I'm at the confidence. Like, everybody think. Like naked clothes or anything, like it's easy. I'm not gonna lie, it's like so much behind that you don't even know. Like, yeah, I want to drop every day, but you can't drop every day. Like, exactly. It's just not that easy. That's what people don't understand. Like, exactly. Just gotta keep going. Stay that's, busy. that's the thing. Like, people don't understand how much time and effort you put into your craft. Cause like, you might make a video then drop it in like two days, but you don't know. I stayed up till two a.m. both nights to drop that video. To drop that video. You feel me? You, you don't you don't see the behind the scenes thing. Some people you, you either let it make it make you break. I let it break me before, but you don't know when it break you once, you can still yeah. get back up and fall. That's the thing about it. When the next drop coming in? I'm dropping. I'm actually working on something right now, so it's on the third, and I'm trying to drop it like by next weekend. Like. What type of clothes? Hoodie, shirt, like what you dropping? Sets. Today? I'm dropping summer sets. Uh, like, summer sets. Two piece sets for females, and then uh, two piece sets for dudes. Uh, so you into everything? Shirts, yeah. shorts, swimsuits, everything. Right. All that. That's where all the money at. You gotta go uh, with the money. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. One trip pony, nah, cuz. Nah, I want it all. I want the whole outfit. Shit. Let, let them know. Let them re know about the website where they can get your shit now before the website. Fit it right now money. before the website drop, man. You can DM me on Instagram or Facebook at satlife.apparel, S A C K K L I F E dot A P P A R E L. And my website coming soon. I'm going to be looking to have the website up for you guys by the end of this month or early July. So be on the lookout for that.
Yes, sir, man. And brand ambassadors and models are needed all over Florida or any else, any anywhere around. We travel. I'm willing to travel. Just, mm. just let me know. Hit me up on Instagram. I said, y'all heard my boy this whole time. Networking is big and everything. So if you're trying to get out my boy's shit, man, y'all go get out on links and be down below. And if you ain't fucking with him, man, you wrong, man. Yeah, get that sad life. Sad life, no life. Hey, man, we out. Roll good gas, gotta keep a real close by. Roll good gas, gotta keep a real close by.